Gerard, thank you. Judges could soon have more discretion over sentencing, possibly giving lesser sentences to people convicted of nonviolent crimes. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial spoke to the organization behind the national effort and looks at what it means for taxpayers here at home. At federal courthouses in Missouri and Kansas, people have been sentenced up to 10 years or more for nonviolent offenses. This week, Republicans and Democrats worked together to take another step at justice reform. We have people who have indeed committed crimes, uh, and some are serving what some would consider a life sentence for nonviolent drug offenses. There are some who say the criminal justice system is broken on many levels, and in some ways Congress agreed and passed the First Step Act. The law would give judges more discretion. It would also put crack cocaine on an equal level as other drugs. It is also going to increase uh, good time from 47 to 54 days a year annually. It costs you, the taxpayer, nearly $37,000 a year to house a federal inmate. The Congressional Budget Office says if the law is signed by President Trump, the inmate population will drop from 180,000 to 130,000 in 10 years. Damon Daniel is with the ad hoc group against crime. So that's a really great savings when you think about taxpayers' dollars. Uh, but also, I think it's going to, I really encourage our community to think about what does it mean for second chances. The grassroots push led by a group called Cut 50 has support from people like CNN commentator Van Jones, Trump advisor Jared Kushner, and celebrities like Kim Kardashian. Lewis Reed is the national organizer. I am also 13959014. That's my federal registration number. I served nearly 14 years in federal prison. There are people whose lives are literally, literally languishing in federal prisons. They are not being educated. They're still being shackled. They're being placed in solitary confinement. They're being released without identification cards. Uh, and we have to do something. And they responded to the call. Those who are against the bill say that it was soft on crime. President Trump is expected to sign the bill into law. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.